going on fam? Sarah here. I recently reached Radiant by playing mostly Jet. With that in mind, I decided to come forward with another Jet Guide. I promise you won't regret sticking to watch the whole video as I will show you guys insane Jet strategies, how to entry, how to use the op, and all the tricks you need to know for split. With that being said, let's get right into the video. First, let's start off with all the glitches and exploits that you can use to help you get kills. So first, over here on A Heaven, if you just jump off this platform right here, you could actually just make it right onto this platform on site without using any abilities at all. So you could just straight up run. And as you can see, I can make it up here. And obviously I can hold different angles. And from up here, I just like maybe like looking this. And if they push out, I could get a free kill because I'll see their legs and they won't be able to see me. And this also counters any breach flashes, because if they breach flash or phoenix flash this wall, I won't be able to see it and I'll just kill them as they're running out. While I'm up here, this is also good. Like, let's say, I don't know, they run out hell, I kill them. I could just instantly dash elbow and then go for another peek and then maybe smoke myself off and go CT. So there's also another very useful skill jump in mid. And this is very useful for countering any sage walls. So if a sage places her wall across over here, what you could do is you could run across this part of this thing and you want to turn as you hit this black part over here and you just want to turn to the right of the box you want to jump and then you want to hold crouch as you're gliding and you want to let go of crouch as you hit the box so i'll show you guys what i'm talking about so as you can see i can get on top of this box really easily and this is useful if there's a sage wall i know that a lot of people show it from running over here like that but the problem with this one is that this is usually walled off by Sage, so you can't really run, get a nice run like this. And right here, it's a lot better. So what I like doing is smoking this part off right here, and then just gliding on top of here, going right over the Sage wall and then pushing vents. So yeah, this gets me a lot of kills in game, and here's an example. Yikes. <laughs> Okay. And once again, this one needs a little bit of practice. You're not going to get it down right away. And you just always want to remember to just hold crouch and space and then let go of crouch as you hit the box. Moving on to B site, there's another really useful skill jump. And all you have to do is just go into rafters in heaven, glide on top of this smaller box over here. And then from here, here. you want to go over here. here. And all you have to do once you land on top of this box is you just have to do the same exact thing and you can get on top of here. So yeah, you can get on top of this without any abilities. And this is really good with the shotgun because uh, they all just run through. You basically save an updraft. But obviously this is like a little bit difficult to do. So if you fail it, you could just updraft on top of here if you want. But this is just useful uh, to know. And if they just all run through, you can just maybe get a kill. You know, dash, maybe go from this side and then you could fall back peek another angle so yeah it's really useful and always try to use this on save rounds so the next one isn't really a glitch but it's more of an exploit so all you have to do is just go on top of this box before the round starts and then you just want to glide as the barriers go down so moving on, there's another very useful super dash in A lobby. And I use this almost every time I have my ult because of how really useful this is. So all you have to do is just get on top of this bench. And once you get on top of here, you just want to look at the top of this one where it like starts lining up with the uh, wooden pallets, whatever. And then you want to look straight until you see this wooden pallet over here. And you see this um, little line over here. You just want to aim straight up until it hits the top of this. And then from here, all you have to do is dash. You don't have to jump or anything. Just hit the, your dash key and you should go right into the air. And this is extremely useful for clearing heaven, ramp, anybody screens, anybody close, anybody sights. You know, uh, it's very useful. I get, almost get a kill with this every round. So this other super dash is a little bit harder to pull off. And there's not a very specific lineup for this one, but all you want to just do is go against this wall by the spawn. And then all you have to do is just aim around this um, around this wall, I think the middle of this metal pallet thing. And then you want to jump first and then dash. And from up here, you can get a very good angle into anybody heaven. 
And you can get a really easy kill on anybody standing there. So there are many ways to entry onto a site and the first being all you have to do is just uh like basically clear this close and then you just want to throw your smoke you know you want to practice it you try to try to smoke off ramp and then you just want to walk up you know you just clear your angles and then once you get a bit closer you just want to smoke smoke to the right of this uh flower pot smoke right here and you want to dash into it and then you could clear anybody standing right here and then instantly hold uh start clearing angles by sight so as you walk out of the smoke it should look like this And if you want, you can push CT after. There's gonna be a smoke here. You could walk up, you know, try to get a kill, dash back, and go inside with your team afterwards. So the second way to entry is a little bit trickier, but it's still very consistent. And this one's good for save rounds where you don't wanna, uh, where you don't really care if you lose your guns. So for this one, you just also, you know, wanna smoke off ramps, and then you wanna walk up. You wanna, you wanna smoke the same thing, like by flower pot, like this. So the enemies don't really know where you're going. And then after you smoke flower pots, you just want to smoke heaven and you want to up drop and dash. And then you want to quickly push and try to kill anybody that's, you know, ro rotating, maybe anybody that's events. Try to get a kill. So the third way to entry is the most aggressive one out of the three. And w for this one requires an omen. And you want your omen to go into sewers over here. Here. And then f take out his flash and then flash ramp. So his flash travels this way, right? And then in the meantime, you want to be standing up here, right? You want to smoke off main, and you want to quickly dash following his flash. And then you want to, you know, push up heaven, like smoke things off. And with this, I always get a free kill off anybody mid that's uh, went through vents. I just hold right here. And then after I kill them, you know, I just drop down, hold for anybody else. And as the enemy team rotates through here, they're going to know your vents. But you don't want to peek because you want your teammates, uh, you, you want the enemies to already per sight. And after they per sight, then you could, you know, like peek out of vents and then actually start killing them. You don't want to just instantly after you kill the vents guy to just peek out heaven and die. You, you, you want to hold for anybody, maybe anybody pushing, and then you want to peek. Like, so just like a game sense thing, basically. So moving on to B, uh, there's going to be a barrier over here. So you always kind of just like, you know, peek it, maybe jiggle it, take a few shots. You don't want to just stand here, like in the open, just holding like this, because you, you could get opt, you get peeked. But if you don't, you just jiggle a few shots in there, you can get a free kill without really exposing yourself. And then once you walk up over here, you just want to, you know, clear your angles. And there's basically two main ways to entry over here. The first one being uh, the most common one, and this one's all right. It's not the best, but it's still really good. The only problem with this one is if they have a cypher, but if they don't have a cypher, this is just a preferred way to entry. So what you have to do is just smoke uh, over here to the right of this box. And then you want to dash. But as you're dashing, you want to look left side to clear it. Like that. So you know that there's nobody camping over here. And then once you're in the smoke over here, all you have to do is just throw another smoke to your right. And then quickly peek back sight. This is so you don't get shots from ramp. Oh, you actually want to throw the smoke a little bit closer like this. And you want to peek back sight. So you don't get shot from ramps and after you clear back sight, then you could peek anybody over here. So it should look like this. I also wanted to mention that this orb over here is very useful and you want to get this almost every round. It's a lot easier to get than the A orb because all you have to do is just smoke yourself off and just, you know, hold, uh, stick it. And yeah, th this should help you get your ult and on save round. So always try to get this orb if you can. So the second way to entry is a bit more, is a bit harder to do, but this one's very useful for catching enemies off guard. And I actually prefer this one over the first method. So all you have to do is just smoke the exact same thing, like smoke over here. But instead of dashing forward, you just want to dash over here, clear this as well. You want to you wanna dash to the right side of the pillar. And from here, you could uh, clear hell, you know, you could push up, clear rafters, and clear anyone in your back pillar back sight. And the reason this is so good is because they're going to see a smoke here, uh, and they're going to hear a jet dash. And everybody's going to be looking at the smoke. Even if they're rafters, they're, they're going to see a smoke, they're going to hear a jet dash, and they're all going to be staring here. But in reality, you run out over here, and as they're all looking over here, you just get a free kill. So this is what this should look like in full speed.
So moving on to A defense, there's a lot of really great spots in A. There's not like really any just specific spots. The only one I could think of is the one I showed earlier where you glide on top of this, right? But, and then from here, you just want to get on top of here. And from here, this is, uh, like I showed earlier in the video, this is a pretty good spot to hold. Uh, another really good spot is over here behind Flower Pot. This is if you have like maybe a Spectre, you know, you could just hold, maybe on Fist Around. Another really good spot is over here, uh, Hell on A. And you don't really want to talk too hard because it's a lot easier for them to clear you. You want to go a little bit more into the open and closer. So your bullets one shot them and they won't really expect you to be standing right here. Most of the time, they're just going to walk out, you know, like with their guns and they're going to only clear hell the very close corner. They're not going to really like, they're not going to swing hell like this, right? They're, they're just going to quickly check the last corner like that. So if you sit really close up at like an off angle, you should be able to get a bunch of kills. Now you could smoke it off, go heaven, maybe pick up their gun, hold a different angle. So yeah, that's another really good spot for, for save rounds. So with the op, a really good spot is in the beginning of the round, because the barrier goes across like this, you just want to stand here and you want to mark here. this spot on the, on the map so you know where you to look. Here. Right? And then as the barrier goes down, you just want to jump peek like that. And then just try to get a pick and then instantly dash away. If you, if you want, you could just hold it, obviously. Like if nobody peeks, you could just like walk out. We hold a like an off angle kind of like this maybe and yeah it's, it's very good for information you could tell your teammates to rotate off and or you can get a first blood like really good in any situation as long as you hit your shot just hit your shots kid so moving on to another really good off spot is over here in elbow um the reason this is so good is because usually they smoke off screens right like this and you can't really pick screens but you could peek elbow anyways so if this is smoked off they're not going to really expect you to be here you can maybe get a kill dash back and you know go heaven help play with your team so for a retake um you just want to make sure that you have somebody's Here. screens and a main pushing at the same time to like pinch them in because if they only have to worry about one thing then it's a lot easier to hold it but let's say they're holding over here they have to hold ramp and elbow it's going to be a lot uh, harder for them to hold it so always make sure to have somebody pushing out of screens and a main and also make sure to use your smokes you know throw a smoke here maybe clear anybody that's hell anybody that's close and you know throw another smoke you know updraft you can maybe get a kill so you always just want to use your utility when retaking you don't want to just run out blind moving on to vents um another really good spot for ops is is like right as the round starts they're, um, they're usually gonna throw a smoke right here but there's gonna be a barrier obviously right so as the barrier goes down you just want to walk out like this holding it and you just want to stop over here and this is really good because if they smoke this off it, that doesn't really affect you you could still hold it you know you could just hold it get a kill and instantly dash heaven but obviously you could play vents if you don't have an off you could play with the rifle you know but if, if you play with a rifle you don't like really want to peek too hard because it's going to be a really easy kill for them if there's like four out so what you want to do is you kind of want to hold a really tight angle like this because at this point they are going to run up they're probably going to be holding like this and then at this point they're just going to stop holding and run up heaven and that's when you shoot them but obviously if they smoke this off then you just want to mark this spot right here on the map and you just want to start spraying and i get so many kills doing this it's actually insane it's literally anybody that's running up over here they're just gonna get a headshot instantly anybody back here just gonna you're gonna do so much damage to them so it's like really useful and you don't want to be too far in the open you kind of want to just like you know uh, hug the wall over here so you don't get sprayed back you know you can just chill back a little bit so for b heaven defense a really good thing i like doing is aiming at this lights over here and you just want to throw a smoke over here and this is a really good one way for anybody peeking. You could crouch if you want. And from their perspective, they actually can't see you at all. And you could just spray their feet and get a lot of easy kills or even do some damage. Another really good strategy that I like doing on B Heaven is just taking out a shotgun and going into a corner right here of this box and just holding. And they just run out to the like rain of flash. It usually goes on top of you, goes behind you. It doesn't really matter. And you could literally get like a 2K or 3K just by doing this and just turn the whole game around. So the other really good spot that I like on heaven on B is going into the corner over here and looking straight down and just walking like this far about. And then from here, you could, this is like a really good off angle. You could hold onto anybody that pushes out. You, you won't get blinded by them and they're just all gonna run out. You can get a few kills. And if you want, you could actually just spray through here as well. 
And I actually do a good damage. And they don't even know where they're getting shot from most of the time. So they're just going to be holding it. And you can get a free kill. So moving on to B side, there's a lot of good elevation you can get on top of. You can get on top of this over here. You could hold here. You know, throw a smoke. Try to kill them. You know, you could get on top of here as well. This is really good with a, like a shotgun or something. You, you could hold on top of... You could hold on top of here with an op if you want. Uh, there's just... A, a lot of good elevation which you can get on top of us yeah and even in radiant rank not that many people clear this box over here they they usually just hold maybe close but they don't clear the top of it like every round so you should be able to get away with it a few times even in like high ranks the only thing that you should really be careful of is rain of flashes and just make sure your teammates could destroy them for you have somebody playing rafters so you guys could have a good crossfire and over here is another really good op spot and with this one, if they are on a full buy, you kind of want to aim like higher up because they're probably going to be hugging this wall. But if they have bad buys, like they maybe have sheriffs and they have specters and you want to hold a little bit lower so you could try to get their body because obviously there's going to be a different elevation. So another good strategy is to early peek right as the barrier goes down. You know, you could either dry peek like this or if you want, you could glide on top of this box. Both are good and it's just whichever one you're more comfortable with. The one on top of this box is a little bit safer if you get the hang of it but they're both they're both useful and they could be used both ways so when you're retaking b from ct you just want to smoke the right side over here and then quickly clear anybody that's sitting up here or over here you know you just want to walk out and clear anybody there and th this should help you a lot because a lot of people camp right here and if you walk out of ct it's harder to you know it's, it's pretty hard to retake if you have to watch both angles but smoking right side will isolate the right side I mean, it will, it will isolate the left side and you can get a free kill on anybody that's up here. So when you're retaking from heaven, you kind of just want to smoke the sides of the pillar over here. So they don't have a good angle onto heaven. And after you smoke the sides of the pillar, you just want to, you know, drop down to try to see if you can get any kills. Maybe spray at this box, spray at this box over here, people camp there. And you always just want to push out from the left side of the pillar instead of through sight. And this is because you have less angles to worry about. And also sometimes people play right here and uh, they can't really watch both angles at the same time. So it's a lot easier to push from here. You can catch them off guard, you know, you can just jiggle it, you know, get a few kills. So moving on to old spots, I wanted to mention that if you updraft and jump at the exact same time, you will go higher than if you just updraft. So as you can see over here, if I just updraft, my peak is over there. But if I jump and updraft, I go a little bit higher. So in all these spots, you just want to jump and updraft in the, uh, before. So the first one is obviously over here. It's just the A ult over here. You can just updraft on top of the boxes. You know, try to get a kill. But this one, I, I think, is not as good as the super dash I showed earlier. But the super dash, it does use a dash. So if you, if you want to save your dash, you could just do the more simple version on top of this box. So this ult spot on B is very specific and I don't really recommend using this every round only if you know that uh, they're there and you're trying to maybe go for a clip or something. So you just want to go on these uh, boxes over here and you want to double updraft and you should see anybody that's standing back here on top of this rafter. Anybody standing right here, you should be able to see them with this updraft spot. You can see their head and try to get a kill. So the next spot isn't really an ult spot, but it's really useful for retaking B if you have your ult. So what I like doing is smoking B main over here, and then smoking close, and then running into the smoke, and then dash updrafting. And this should get you a good vision for anybody that's back sight. And if you do it correctly, you'll be like pretty high up, so you can't get shot from B main. So yeah, this is really good for retake. So we have come to the end of the jet guide for split. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I really showed you guys all my strategies that I use in Radiance Rank. So if you guys have any questions, you could comment them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.